Hi, Kanan here. Welcome to Gear Talk episode 13. Uh, today I'm gonna do a quick video about the macro magnification between the 100 millimeter f2.8 EF uh, lens and the Canon RF 35 millimeter f1.8 macro STM lens. The 35 millimeter f1.8, when you test it at minimum focusing distances, um, you'll soon realize you can get a one to two magnification ratio. Uh, what this means is, um, for whatever your uh, camera sensor size, for example, the Canon R6 has a 36 millimeter width um, on the long edge of the photo uh, as um, the sensor size. And um, with using the 35 millimeter lens, you can take a photo of something roughly 72 millimeter wide. And then the Canon 100 millimeter F 2.8 is known to have a one-to-one -one magnification ratio. Um, so it has a full one-to-one -one scale rendering. Um, this means your sensor size is 36 millimeter wide. When you put this lens on and you push it to the minimum focusing distance uh, and take a picture of something, you can fill that whole image to uh, 36 millimeters. So I'll show an example of a grid that I had with um, dimensions on it. Uh, it was only in centimeters but it'll show this concept uh, between the one to one versus one to two magnification ratio. Um, yeah, I wanted to make this video because I was curious about it. Um, I hear people saying certain lenses aren't true macro photography. Some people um, believe the one to one ratio is at what defines the border of macro, um, while other people, including some can uh, camera manufacturer, define a smaller ratio. Um, as still macro. So you might see the term macro tacked on a few lenses at uh, different focal lengths, and that usually means it can uh, have a better minimum focusing distance that lets you have a little bit more magnification than typical lenses in that same range. Um, yeah, so here are just a little bit, uh, a small clip of using both of these lenses and trying to focus at minimum distance uh, at a ruler scale. Here you go. Okay, so I have a ruler scale there on the wall on this cutting mat. Um, the Canon R6 has a 36 millimeter wide sensor. Um, and as you can see, um, right now with the 100 millimeter uh, f2.8 uh, macro L lens, um, we can render this image. I'll hit record. Um, that is at 36, roughly 36 millimeters. So it's a one to one magnification. I'm going to switch over to the 35 and bring it to the minimum focusing distance and see what I can reach. So this is the 100 millimeter macro um, and a cutting board with a ruler on the background and I've moved to the minimum focusing distance that I can get to focus and um, when you focus I am just getting a tad pretty close to 36 millimeter. Um, showing on um, the grid that's focusing. If I push any closer, it'll stop um, being able to focus. And obviously if I move back, it's fine. I can still focus. Um, so this is roughly around the minimum distance that it can focus at. And because the R6 sensor is 36 millimeter, to get a one-to-one -one, uh, magnification, I should be able to create an image um, 36 millimeter wide and be able to focus on a uh, subject like that. So right there, you can see uh, one centimeter, two centimeter, three centimeter, and the half centimeter. So that's roughly 35 to 36, if you count the little bit that I've recorded past the left and right. So this is with the 100 millimeter f2.8, the official macro, a very well-known macro lens on the Canon lineup. And next I'll switch over to this guy, the 35 uh, RF mount, and they also deem this guy I'm trying to find it right they call it 35 f1.8 macro is stm so this is the canon rf 35 millimeter uh, f1.8 and it has macro in its name um, but as you can see the closest i'm at the minimum focusing distance to the grid um, and i can render roughly 72 millimeter akatsu width which is approximately two times or it is two times the size of the width of the R6 sensor of 36 millimeter. Um, so 
this lens here has a one to two magnification ratio versus the Canon 100 millimeter um, f2.8 L lens, which has a one to one. So the magnification um, on the 100 millimeter is better, even though this lens also has the name macro in it, the abilities are different. So hope that video uh, overview helped you visualize what the one to one and one to two uh, macro magnification ratio is um, and help you visualize that better. Um, for me, it was a good exercise to actually see what that one to one versus one to two um, uh, ratio looks like. And yeah, I just figured out I might as well make a video about it. So if you um, thought that was useful, uh, like and subscribe on this channel. I'm still um, slowly learning about making these videos and finding uh, interesting topics to make these videos on. Some of it is part of my own learning and just documenting that. But yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. And yeah, see you in the next one.